Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. So I'm just picking up the tractor right now. I had to get some maintenance and repairs done, and so picking it up from my friend's farm and driving it back to my farm. That's the start of my farm right up there. Maple syrup is still running through the lines here. Hello there, Ginny Barncat. How's it going, sweetie? Hi. Good to see you. Let's go check on the animals and collect some eggs. Hey, Abby Dog. How's it going, sweetheart? Where's Toby Dog? Toby Dog. To -to -to Toby Dog. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. I love both of those dogs very much. But I got to admit, Toby Dog actually changed farming for me. So it was back in the spring of 2019, just about this time of year. And I had some of my worst days of farming ever. You see, because a mink actually snuck into that house right there, which is where my duck flock was living at the time. And it attacked my ducks. It maimed several of them. It killed a couple of them. And it happened actually two nights in a row. And at first I tried to do some things like trap the mink as a way to prevent it, but that wasn't really all that effective. But these days I've actually come to the conclusion that trapping is actually rarely effective when it comes to controlling predators. And it can also have a significant amount of collateral damage, but I still needed to find a way to manage the predator problem on the farm and keep all my birds safe. I have got kind of a spoiled little heifer on my hands. She's getting lazy these days. She won't even get up to get brushed, but she definitely loves getting brushed, that's for sure. And so my friend David, who has a sheep farm a little ways away, he actually had livestock guardian dogs on his farm and he suggested getting a puppy and training it up to work with the ducks and geese and in fact his male dog ford had actually just sired a litter of puppies that were actually being gestated and he offered one of those puppies to me uh-oh Ginny barncat just walked by and she's got baby b's attention baby b does not like Ginny. in fact i think baby b and Ginny were jealous of each other because they both like to be pet by me Oh, pretty soon, sweetie, it's going to be t-shirt weather and then you're not going to be able to do that anymore. So when that litter of puppies was born, one of those little puppies ended up being Toby Dog. And Toby Dog came to the farm back in the, I guess it was like November, right around Thanksgiving of 2019. Oh no! Ugh. Baby B, <laughs> you're causing all sorts of problems. And I gotta say, it was really nice having... Toby Dog on the farm. Even though Lil Barn Cat and Pablo Barn Cat were around, cats don't offer quite the same companionship as a dog. And it really was a game changer for my farm. And speaking of game changers, we've got the very pregnant Audrey here. I don't know, I feel like she's any day now she could drop. Even starting to see some discharge coming from her. As well as for my favorite cow, Ariel. They're both looking very ready. So this gal right here, Bonnie McMurray, she's Ariel's daughter. She's about a year older than Baby B. And this spring I'll breed her with Macho Man. Baby B and Alice B. Toklas is over there. They're actually gonna be separated from everybody else this summer so that they don't get bred this year, but they will get bred next year. Baby B is not Macho Man's daughter. I bet you when Baby B has a calf, I'll be able to milk her. It's actually very rewarding that I can do that with her. How's it going, Astrid? How are you doing? So Astrid is my biggest cow. She's a different breed. She's a Charlet, 1,300, 1,400 pounds. Meanwhile, Baby B is maybe 500 pounds now. There's a big size difference. Look at that. You're just a little peanut. You know that girl? Peanut that likes to get brushed. Over in this yard, we've got Alice B. Toklas and Alice's mom, Amelia. They're having some hay. I think Alice is actually a couple weeks, maybe even a month younger than Baby B, but she's already bigger than Baby B. I know you're not gonna want me to brush you, but I'll offer it to you anyway. And I'm wondering if by the end of the summer, if I can get you and Baby B together. Baby B, are you gonna help me train Alice to be brushed? I'd love to have that happen before the end of the summer. In case you're wondering too, I've got all these panels set up in various parts of the corral divided because I might need to make birthing stalls with the girls if it's getting to be the case. Like I might corral Audrey and or Ariel into separate areas just in case if they have any maternal complications, it's gonna make it easier to work with them. I've got my squeeze chute here, which really is the important thing for trying to deal with them or if I need to get the vet out. Hey Pablo, do you remember when Toby was a puppy? When Toby Dog first arrived at the farm, Pablo really tried to lay down the law with him. You know, show him who's boss. And we all know the real boss these days is Abby Dog. Hi, sweetie. Hey, buddy boy. So which of these shedding dogs wants to get brushed, huh? All right, Toby, you get brushing first. Abby, you gotta calm down. All right, Abby, you're going to time out. Come on, Abby, come on. Sometimes Abby Dog can steal the show a little bit, so I gotta give Toby Dog his special time. You're a special dog. Yeah, a special dog who's shedding. Probably in a couple weeks, I'm gonna take both Toby and Abby. Come here, buddy. This is how we get rid of the Toby tumbleweeds, remember? Yeah, in a couple weeks, I will take both Toby and Abby to the groomer. But for right now, it's just sort of maintenance 
get their coat in good shape. And speaking of maintenance, it's probably a good time to talk to you guys today about our video sponsor, BetterHelp. Now, whether it's been dealing with my ADHD or my eating disorder, or even just the stress of life, over the years, I have found talk therapy to be insanely helpful. And ever since I moved out into the middle of nowhere, finding a good therapist can be challenging. But luckily, that's where BetterHelp comes into play. And their network of licensed therapists are able to meet with you over video, over the phone, or you can even use their messaging system as a way to communicate really any way you want with your therapist and use your therapy as a tool to help you with a wide variety of challenges. And so how do you use BetterHelp? Well, first off, you go to their site and you can use my link, betterhelp.com slash goldshawfarm, and you answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you with a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles like yours. You'll be matched with a therapist usually in about 48 hours so you can get started fast. Click the link in the description down below if you're interested in giving Giving BetterHelp a try and seeing what they can do to help you. And if you use the code Goldshaw Farm at checkout, you'll be able to get a discount off your first month with BetterHelp. So check it out today. Now look at this scene. Toby Dog is looking all good and freshly brushed, and poor Abby Dog is feeling like she just got put on punishment with the weird chickens. All right, come on out, sweetie. You know, Abby Dog, I love you, but sometimes your big personality makes it hard to give attention to the other animals. Plus, you don't get nearly as thick a coat as Toby Dog, and so you don't shed nearly as much. You don't need the brushing nearly as much. You know, I'm usually brushing Toby Dog, I don't know, three or four times a week. Abby Dog, this is the first time I've brushed her all week, <laughs> and barely anything's coming up. Let's go get some eggs, come on. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Time to collect some eggs. Hey, birds. All right, looks like we got a couple right here. That's two goose eggs. Chickens are looking at me like I got some food for them, but that is not chicken food. These eggs have to go to a farm. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, we got two more eggs in here, huh, Abby? Yeah, I've added more tire nests. They seem to be becoming popular with the geese, so that's a good thing. Another one right here. So I had two goose eggs this morning. And now I've got five goose eggs this afternoon. So that's a total of seven on the day so far. Let's see, do I have any more under here? No. Oh, this goose is back to making this spot her nest. She's probably mad that I just took her eggs. Of course we've got her. Come on, come on. Out you go, out you go. So when I was doing the morning chores today, I was checking to see if anybody laid any early eggs. And when I went in there, I found a duck egg inside this coop, which would suggest to me that one of the ducks somehow got up in here and laid an egg, which is very unusual behavior because ducks typically will lay their eggs wherever the heck they want. And I don't think I've ever seen them try to go into a structure like this. But I can say with 100% certainty that I did get a duck egg this morning. I think what we're gonna wanna try to do is maybe do a little bit of a stakeout. Let's see if we have ducks going inside that coop to lay some eggs. So I've got a trail camera ready to go here. Let's get it all loaded up. Drop it back here in the back and we'll wait overnight and see if there's any ducks that come inside or go outside, and that will answer our question. We now have ducks that are starting to lay in the weird chicken house. And it looks like we're gonna be able to bring back another fan favorite by saying, all ducks go to bed! All ducks go to bed! I know I'm saying ducks, but that order goes for the geese too. All ducks go to bed! 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 Hey, what are you doing over there? Oh, would you look at that? He's got the foundations of a little nest going here. Don't know how old this egg is, so it might not be viable, so I think that might be farm dog dinner, huh? All right, let's go. Everybody inside, come on. Even you. I got your egg already, so you're not gonna be able to go back to that nest. All right, good night, birds. I'll see you in the morning. And by the end of this video, we'll check back in and see what was on that camera. We also actually have another camera activity that I want to check out, and that's with our friends, the weird chickens. Hey, Betty Boop, you heading in for the night? So as you probably can see here, I'm still dealing with Templeton the rat. Templeton is living in that hole down below there, and I still can't get to him. Actually, a couple of days ago, I actually caught him in this trap. And the actually incredible thing is he actually got out of the trap. Like, he was able to wiggle his way out of this grip claw and ran away to safety. And you guys have no idea how incredibly frustrating that is. But he is such a large rat at this point that I don't think a conventional trap's gonna work. I've got a couple of have a heart traps stashed. I also have these tunnel traps, which are actually safe for like the cats and dogs and chickens. So I can leave those set and armed at all times. And I actually just got these bar traps that a lot of people are telling me are stronger and better and able at clamping them. And so what I'm actually doing over these next couple of days is because he's now so skittish, what I've got to do is I'm going to train him 
to those traps. And so counterintuitively, I'm gonna be taking some peanut butter, just slathering it on this trap, and I'm not even gonna set those traps, I'm just gonna let them eat tonight. And so we'll watch on the camera tonight too to see what he does. I do feel like it's a weird world I'm living in where I'm starting to feed rats peanut butter. I feel like I might have done something wrong in my life. Here, Abby dog, you can lick the spoon. Toby dog, would you care for a lick? Both dogs like to lick the spoon. They love peanut butter. Of course, who doesn't love peanut butter? Well, that's disappointing. It seems like Templeton the rat opted not to make an appearance last night. Oh well. Rise and grind, weirdos. What do you think, Ginny Barncat? Have you been keeping Templeton away? Yeah, that's two nights in a row that I haven't seen Templeton yet. What do you think, guys? Has Templeton just left? I don't think we're gonna be that lucky, but maybe I'm wrong. I need you to keep on the lookout there, Pablo Barncat. Much appreciated, pal. All right, let's see how the birds are doing. Morning, birds! How's everybody doing this morning? Release the Quacken! It is absolute bird chaos this morning. Everybody's excited to go outside for the morning. I'm just starting to pour their water. I know guys, it's gonna be a nice warm day. I bet you're very excited about this. Lots of water, lots of mud. This time of year is really the perfect time to be waterfowl in Vermont. How are we doing for eggs here this morning, Abby? Doesn't look like any in the tire yet. Got a whole random scatter shot of duck eggs though. More duck eggs. Got a goose egg in this tire. No goose eggs in this tire yet. Some more gross, dirty duck eggs down here. Look at these things, they are filthy. These duck eggs were laid in the last 10 hours or so and they are disgusting already. Here we have little Bean wandering around. How's it going, Beanie? We got a duck egg under the weird chicken house. The question I'm wondering is, do we have a duck egg inside the chicken house? No, I only see one chicken egg that was laid so far. But what we're gonna do is check our camera, see what sort of activity happened last night. All right, let's see what's on this camera here. Okay, so we got a chicken and a duck, another chicken, another duck, and another duck, and another duck, and another duck. This is like a duck party in here. This has become a very popular spot for ducks. Yeah, they're just like hanging out in here. I think they have become fans of the weird chicken house. All right, Abby, let's close this back up because I'm sure a couple of these girls want to get inside. Now, the other thing I'm really curious about is to see if we've got any new cattle on the farm that appeared overnight. Hey, would you look? Puddles the duck is playing lookout. She's standing on that hay bale. I don't know why she's up so high relative to everybody else. And here we have little Ralph the duck. You know, Ralph is actually fitting in perfectly with our flock. He really has found his place here on this farm. And it's actually kind of nice to see. He was a rescue duck, and so I'm really glad we were able to give him a good home. And there we have the noble Toby dog, standing guard. And he's probably gonna go pee somewhere. All right, let's go see if we have any new cattle. So what do you think, Macho Man? Is today the day that you're gonna be a dad? I don't know, what do you think? I don't know if it's gonna be today, but it's definitely gonna be a day very soon. Oh, look at that nice fur. You're gonna make such a good papa. Morning, girls! How's my cattle ladies? Now, Belinda, I know you're not gonna have any babies, but maybe you'll let me brush ya. So, I made some mistakes with trying to train Belinda back when she was about Baby B's age. So she's just not nearly as good for brushing as Baby B is. Even though she's friendly and she's always curious, she just doesn't quite like the sensation of brushing quite like Baby B or Macho Man or Ariel do. Good morning, Amanda Hug and Kiss. How are you doing, girl? All right, here's one of the cows that I've been really wondering about. I know you don't love it when I'm looking at your backside. Her teat and udder don't seem like they're as full as I'd expect. I think she's close. Now this is the cow I was actually really wondering about the most. Hey, Ariel, I can brush you and check your pregnancy. At the same time, it'd be really good. Ariel looks further away to me than Audrey does. ABB, please don't knock over the camera. I know you're trying to lick it, girl. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> oh, you're such a sweetheart. Well, I guess we're still on calf watch here on the farm, but I'll be back again real soon with another update. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, who's my good baby B? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are.
You're a sweetie pie. Yes, you are.